Here comes the money. Here we go. Today, we're going to talk about the business of cybersecurity. Sometimes in the field, you have to put on that suit jacket, step into the boardroom, and talk about those business aspects of the field. Come along with me so we can talk more and more about the business of cybersecurity subject. Hello, and welcome back to Struggle Security, where we are normalizing struggling in cybersecurity. Thank you for coming back. We're going to jump right into it, where we're talking today about the business of cybersecurity. Many times we come into this field and we're looking at ethical hacking, right? Offensive cybersecurity is so cool to be able to hack systems. We're also talking about all the different hacks that have happened in the wild. We talk about this on Twitter and all different social media platforms. And we also a lot of times talk about the high salaries that these cybersecurity jobs demand. And the thing about it is that that's important, but many times we don't look at the business of cybersecurity. What is the thing, the lifeline of cybersecurity and the business of cybersecurity and why is that important? And that's a subject that we want to address today. What is the business case for cybersecurity? Nice. I work as a cybersecurity consultant, specifically a manager for a professional services organization, and I'm dealing with the business of cybersecurity on a daily basis. And I want to start off by asking the questions of why do businesses need to invest in cybersecurity? And I want to start with the first one, which says businesses want to protect their sensitive stuff. What does that mean? Technology is involved in almost every single business process today. I mean, whether checking emails, whether looking at different financials, there are so many things as it concerns business and technology that these two come together in marriage within the business environment. And cybersecurity solves the problem of protecting your business's most valuable data and operations from the bad guys. I wanna give a couple of examples here because I know you can probably think about it with KFC, right? KFC's recipe of the 11 herbs and spices. We don't know what those exact recipe uh, ingredients are, but I'm sure KFC doesn't want that information to be leaked and get into the hands of their competitors. They store many customer credit cards, social security numbers, bank account information, and I'm sure that they don't want that information of their customers leaked onto the internet into different forms and for sale. Also think of government organizations. Government organizations do not want their electrical grid organizations or utility organizations to be hacked or infiltrated by the bad guys and uh, with their attempt to try to turn off the lights. A lot of that is happening right now, but the US government doesn't want that, right? So cybersecurity helps to protect all of these organizations and all of these different systems from the bad guys. That's a very strong business case for cybersecurity. The second one I wanna talk about is that cybersecurity enhances business productivity. I mean, wake up one morning, jump onto Outlook or whatever business email system that you have and think about not even having access to it, right? You're not having access to your personal emails. You notice that you can't even log into the system and you call help desk. Help desk doesn't have the answers. And eventually you see a notice or a call from your manager who says, hey, we've been infiltrated by a hacking group and they are holding our email servers for ransom. Um, what are you going to do from there? You know what I would probably do in a situation? I'd probably take a nap. I'll probably take a nap until the issue is resolved. But the moral of the story here is that business cannot continue if cybersecurity is not incorporated into the operations and the day-to-day -day operations of that business because it can slow down or even stop in many cases, the business operations. And the final one I want to talk about as it concerns why businesses should invest in cybersecurity is that the businesses will pay for it in the long run. In 2021, we saw that the Colonial Pipeline organization was infiltrated or hacked by a nation state organization. And what happened is that business operations or the pipeline operations were cut off for a certain period of time. The nation state actors actually wanted them to pay a particular ransom, ransom amount in order for them to get back their operations, their business operations flowing. You know how much that was? Four million dollars. Here comes the money. Here we go. So that's the thing, right? Businesses need to invest in cybersecurity on the front end, so they won't be paying a $4 million back-end expense. It's something that is a business saver and something that is a business enabler. Cybersecurity is a business enabler. So now let's look at you as a person who is looking at the cybersecurity field and trying to understand, hey, where do I fit into the business of cybersecurity? And I wanna identify two of these skills that I think are very important for you jumping into the field. I think the first one is the ability to communicate cyber-related information to broad audiences. 
As a consultant, that's something that I do from a day-to-day -day basis. My specific flavor of cybersecurity is that of industrial control systems or operational technology cybersecurity, pretty much industrial cybersecurity as a whole. So I'm talking to process and controls engineers, but at times I'm also talking to managers and IT enterprise professionals. And there's even other times where I'm talking to executives, really trying to sell them on cybersecurity services or even just communicating to them what are the bad or what are the vulnerabilities that I see in within their systems. It's very important to be able to communicate cyber related information to broad audiences. And I think that that's one skill that will definitely make you very marketable in the cybersecurity field. Many people think that offensive cybersecurity services are so important. I want to break this down, right? There many times are red team within cybersecurity. There's a blue team within cybersecurity. There's also a purple team. The red team focuses on offensive cybersecurity services. The blue team focuses on that of defensive things, right? Incident response, digital forensics and incident response. And then there's purple team that combines the two. I would like to say for skill two that you should focus on your blue team defender skills more, right? Because many organizations are looking for that skill more than the red teaming and the cool and the sexy cybersecurity hacking stuff. And I want to kind of bring your attention to that of SIM solutions, right? Things like Splunk or McAfee or the Elk Stack or Security Onion. And SIM stands for Security Incident and Event Management Systems. Many organizations are looking for cybersecurity skilled individuals who are able to detect, defend, and harden their systems so that they can protect the sensitive stuff within their businesses. There are three trainings out there. I know the Security Onion too. I'm going to bring that as a highlight. I'll put that in the description section. And they also offer a certification at a decent price. And overall, these tools will allow you to be able to detect if there is evil lurking within business environments. That's the second skill that I want to leave you all with. And we'll probably get into even more because there are some more skills, things like digital forensics and incident response, reverse engineering or malware reverse engineers, incident response consultants and threat intelligence professionals. There's so much I can say on that. So look for more and more videos on this information but hopefully this has been valuable to you and come back again for the struggle security channel where we are normalizing struggle in cybersecurity.